Hi guys, my name's Dan. Welcome back to another DK2 video. This one I've been looking forward to. It's the updated demo of the Apollo 11. Um, if you remember, uh, if, if you've watched any of my videos before, you may have seen my previous demo. Um, it was a really, really great experience. Uh, so I'm looking forward to see what they've changed uh, for this one. Uh, another thing I'd say is they are only three days left from their uh, their goal on Kickstarter um, And I would urge you to if you do like this and you have got a DK2 um, And you want to sort of help them create the entire mission Which is their goal to create the entire Apollo 11 mission you can land on the moon do the missions uh, And I'm assuming return back to earth and splash down and everything then I think they're literally three days and about 3,000 euros away from their target of 30,000 euros, which isn't an awful lot. If you can get over there and help them out a little bit, that would probably be brilliant because uh, I really want to see the thing done uh, personally. And I've obviously kickstarted to giving them a bit of money. So um, here we go. So adjust my DK2 a little bit there. That's a bit better. No man can fully grasp. Oh, cool. How Let's change the. Uh... And how fast. Oh, I like comes. this. This is different. But condense, if you will, the 50,000 years of man's recorded history in a time span of about a half a century. Yeah, I prefer the room. Stated in these terms, the room looks cooler now. We know very little about the first 40 years, except at the end of them, advanced men had learned to use the skins of animals to cover them. Then, about 10 years ago, under this standard, man emerged from his caves to construct other kinds of shelter. It's so well Only optimized five years as well. Ago, man learned to write. Like. And use a cart with wheels. There's no jitter at all. Christianity began less than two years ago. Frame rate is so solid. The printing press came this year. Look at that. I mean, that. And then less than two months Brilliant. ago, during this whole 50 year span of human history, the steam engine provided a new source of power. Newton explored the meaning of gravity. Last month, electric lights and telephones and automobiles airplanes became available. Only last week did we develop penicillin uh, and television and That's nuclear so cool. power. And now if America's new spacecraft succeeds in reaching Venus, we will have literally reached the stars before midnight tonight. This is a breathtaking pace. And such a pace cannot help but create new ills as it dispels old. New ignorance, new problems, new dangers. Surely the opening vistas of space promise high costs and hardships, as well as high reward. So it is not surprising that some would have us stay where we are a little longer, to rest, to wait. But this city of Houston, this state of Texas, this country of the United States was not built by those who waited and rested and wished to look behind them. For the eyes of the world now look into space, to the moon and to the planets beyond. And we have vowed that we shall not see it governed by a hostile flag of conquest, but by a banner of freedom and peace. The exploration of space will go ahead, whether we join in it or not. And it is one of the great adventures of all time. Those who came before us made certain that this country rode the first waves of the Industrial Revolution, the first waves of modern invention, and the first wave of nuclear power. 
And this generation does not intend to founder in the backwash of the coming age of space. We mean to be a part of it. We mean to lead it. Its hazards are hostile to us all. Its conquest deserves the best of all mankind. And its opportunity for peaceful cooperation may never come again. But why, some say, the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why, 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. Still so stunning. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win on the other side. So, goosebumps. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, twin. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Oh, that's my favorite bit. This is, like, incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. I think yeah, the incredible. moment is uh, Still. most wow. memorable. Oh, God. <laughs> thing that I can recall about that particular day was the opportunity Man, while my, uh, so my two stunning. friends here were being so put stunning. into the spacecraft <laughs> to uh, stand alone by myself uh, out there and, and look at the rocket and the quietness and see the sun come up and the waves rolling in and the evidence of the millions of people uh, watching but, but nothing specific and just so quiet and to realize that indeed uh, such a contrast was going to take place, all the frantic activity oh, preparing so the rocket, big, but it was so quiet so big. for me personally, and that in a very few moments uh, we were going to be uh, departing in a, in a great roar and off for a momentous uh, event. The thing is huge. Mad. I thought uh, we had a 90% chance of getting back safely to Earth on that flight, but only a 50-50 a chance of making a successful landing on the first, first attempt. There's so many unknowns in that descending from lunar orbit down to the surface that had not been demonstrated yet by testing it's a risk reward uh, equation and uh, you're able to accept a level of risk so long as it's commensurate with the roar reward that you will get by achieving the goal that you're after Oh, they've added some extra stuff in. Oh, I'm actually in the kind of spacesuit this time. This is different than before. The, uh, oh, wow. Yeah, the controls and the modeling on the, uh, the panels look so much better now. They've put in all the switches, all the covers for the switches. Um, all the little guards. Yeah, this looks so much better. So much better. Much more detailed. Fantastic. <laughs> this is weird. Oh, man. I actually feel like I'm inside it. Forty seconds from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. Thirty-five seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. Thirty seconds and counting. Astronauts 
Shots reported. Feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, oh, here we go. 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. 32 minutes past the hour. Lift off on Apollo 11. Tower clear. Okay, we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. Bits they put in. Absolutely brilliant. They put in the star fields. Yeah, they finally gave me a window to look at. Really good. That top window and just the paneling and everything else in the in the craft looks brilliant. It really does. That's <laughs> one small step for man. One. I do want to walk on the moon, and I already did back you, and uh, I really am looking forward to uh, the final product, hopefully. Uh, hopefully these guys will get their, um, that's a great stereo image, hopefully these guys will get their uh, their full funding uh, so they can finish this, this uh, experience, because it is fantastic. Um, so yeah, that's another DK2 video from me, uh, I hopefully uh, will see you guys soon in another video. And uh, if you like the, the Oculus stuff, please like and subscribe. Uh, I do have other gameplay stuff as well that's um, just regular gaming and, and what have you. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys very soon. Hi, guys. Thanks again for watching my videos. Uh, it's great to have you on the channel with me. Please click the link to the left if you'd like to see some more vids. Uh, click the subscribe button if you'd like to keep up to date with new videos coming out. And I'll see you guys soon.